Hey YouTube, and Sendar here, and I'm going to do this on uh, some fishing up mechanic updates. I did a previous video for how to AFK relic shards, and I would always just AFK here in Heidel for relic shards and maybe get up to a dozen, seven or eight hours AFK. So, you know, about five million. Um, I asked people to give me feedback on their how long the rod lasted after they actually branded it. And I got some interesting numbers, you know, variation between seven to 15 hours. So I kind of figured something was uh, wrong somewhere. <laughs> so I actually started testing this stuff and uh, also got some good information from a couple people, uh, Master and Guru Fishers. And uh, I'm going to get through that real quick. And this should really, uh, at least 30% more relic shards, but more likely you'll be able to double with this information. So let's get started. The first interesting uh, thing about fishing, the higher your actual skill level, the less durability you might use. So leveling up fishing, the higher you go, the longer the rod's going to last. That's pretty important and I will show a way near the end of this how to really speed up this leveling process. The other major mechanic that I didn't know that can really change things. is uh, there's actually two separate timers in fishing, and two mechanics. There's a cast time and then a bite time. So when you first throw your rod out, there's an amount of time that goes by before the fish actually bites. And the penguin and uh, the balanos fishing rod with the auto fishing AFK reduced is only on the time when the fish is actually on the hook. It doesn't affect how long it takes for the fish to bite. So with the penguin and that rod, you have 45% reduction from three minutes, which is about a minute and a half, minute 40. But it does not change at all how long it takes for the fish to bite. So you can actually speed that process up by minutes by doing a few things. The first one is fishing ability. Uh, I actually tested this a couple times. When you have one fishing ability, it takes a minute and a half, I'd say, longer to actually get a fish to bite than if you have fishing level five. So that's a pretty huge difference. If you're AFK, you're going to want to have fishing ability five. Well, there's a couple different ways to do this. I found out on one of my pets, the hawk, fishing plus one. So you might want to check all your pets. Uh, the easiest way, of course, would be to have three fishing ability from your guild. If you have a trade skill guild or maybe someone join one that has three fishing already. And then of course, fishing plus two clothes gives another two. So that would be your five. If you don't have that from your guild or the clothing, you can use an alchemy stone. Not really recommended uh, since it costs money to recharge it. You can just click this to automatically just continuously use these or reset it every nine minutes. So if you're AFK for eight hours, it'll just keep going and keep your fishing ability up. So you want to keep this up at five. And for relic shards, you're always going to want to uh, fish in an area that doesn't have a lot of fish. So hide out still actually pretty good. And uh, another mechanic that I really didn't know about, it's kind of mind blown moment, I guess is there's a huge difference in the bite time based upon fresh water or salt water. So when I was here in Idaho and I tested this too, and it's another minute difference, if you're in fresh water, like inland rivers or ponds or lakes or whatever, it's actually, it takes longer for the fish to bite than if you're doing salt water. So that right there, you're gonna wanna always try to AFK in a salt water location because that's going to lower your time. You're going to actually get a lot more casts over your AFK time. And that'll be, you know, 30, 50% more relic shards over time. So you really want to do that. So too long didn't read. <laughs> Max out your fishing ability and salt water. Now I'm another, there's actually another mechanic here that's kind of crazy that also affects this bike time. And that's, 
not enough resources. If it's exhausted, it actually takes much longer than if it's abundant. If you get a good abundant area, it's only like 20 seconds for the fish to bite, which is just insane. Uh, finding an area that's safe though, and you can't be PK'd is an issue, but I will show a location here in a minute. Let me just get rid of this. So if you're going for relic shards, you want to stay over here. There's a lot of different locations, but I did test this. The eastern side of Velia is good for relic shards. But if you go over here just a little bit, there's actually a hot spot right here in the safe zone. But it's also exhausted. Let's see these people. Whenever you see a hotspot, you'll probably notice a bunch of people hanging out. This area right here, you'll catch tons of gold and bluefish. And the reason that's important is to level up your fishing, actual fishing experience. So if, you, if, if you've got a low fishing and you're going through durability like crazy and you want to AFK longer, have a longer durability, you're going to want to upgrade or up you're fishing as much as possible, and this is a really good spot. You'll get tons of fish. Uh, at the end of this, I'll probably show the how you can cash those in to the Imperial Fisher or um, the Marketplace to get even more. Over here, you won't get relic shards as much, if at all. But if you just want to up your fishing and get some silver, this is a really good location. Again, this is exhausted, but it's in a safe zone. Now, one of the other tests I did was abundant versus exhausted, which is just another way to cut off the time. And there's actually a really good spot just off the just off the shore of Elliot. Let him drown first. So you'll need a boat for this, or just a raft. I think everybody got a free boat. I'm going to show you how to triangulate to find fishing spots too here. You'll notice on uh, you know, some forums or somebody will give you a code number or location. And it'll be three numbers. How to do that? Pull up your map. I'll click the three locations that are given to you. So you can see I've got three locations. Now you'll see these little numbers, 320, 320, 170. You can actually triangulate to different hotspots and special areas following these numbers. So you can see, I can see all three right now. This particular spot is uh, 420 from the 190 from uh, Crown Castle and 100 from the Flounder. So I just watch all these numbers pretty much and get to that location. This triangulation works pretty well. And if somebody gives you a secret spot that has a certain kind of fish or you know, super income, that's how you can do this. Okay, so we can see I got pretty close. 100 to that, 190 to Crown, 420 to Belia. Now this is a location that I found that's abundant with tons of relic shards. <laughs> now you'll notice I just uh, cast that and uh, this was, I was getting 20 to 25 seconds for a fish to bite, which is super fast. But since you're getting relic shards here, I mean, you can really knock those out. This is a good spot to AFK. The only problem is it's not a safe zone. Uh, I'm gonna post some more of these. I gotta figure out a way to do it so that you know people can't just go to hotspot to hotspot to kill people. Because uh, I did go when I was testing this out. I guess it doesn't show me getting killed. Oh yeah, okay. I did go to a couple different hotspots to test them out, and they were great. Uh, not in safe zones and PK pretty quick. So you're probably gonna have to stick to a safe zone, especially if you're a war a lot, and just. Uh, Reefers going around killing fishers anyway. So you can notice you get fast bite here. Make sure you're 
you got the AFK rod. If, uh, if you're a new player, there actually is no requirement on this, so you can get this right away. And just slowly upgrade it, plus one, plus two, plus three, and aim for plus ten. The other thing that um, people were arguing with me about is uh, the penguin. You've got to have the penguin. At level one, it's only a 10% reduction on AFK time. And at level 10, it's 20% reduction. So you definitely want to level this guy up. Of course, that's feeding them. You must fill up that bar with food before you go AFK for seven or eight hours, because as soon as that runs out, you lose that 20% AFK reduction. So keep him fed. And you can keep your alchemy stone on if you don't have five fishing. I'm going to show you one other trick here after I catch this. Okay, so I'm up here back at the beach in Velia. And remember over here in the eastern part, the right side is the best uh, for Relic Shard safe zone. But one big problem, uh, a lot of the high-end fishers are laughing at this uh, inventory space of 134. So if you have like 80, 90, 100, or even under this, you're going to want to do a couple different things. When you cast, always make sure to throw away useless and white items. When you're doing the relic shards anyway on this side. Because once you fill up your inventory, you stop fishing. It was also recommended to me that even just having this to 10 and branded, you will actually fill up 192 spaces in any actual fishing hotspots over a seven or eight hour period. I'm not going to be spending too many pearls to get 192 right now, but if you have it, you're going to want to come over here to any of the fishing hotspots where you get nothing to fish and load up on that. That's actually the really fastest way to actually level up your fishing skill. And there's a pretty good way to find where all these good hot spots are. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna like this, but if you run up here in Delia again, there's a couple other locations in the world, but you can actually come up here to the tavern. And you'll see this guy in the corner here, but what we'll do is pull up your screen or anything. And you can get a fishers. Alright, so I can see there's a guy pretty high ranked. I'm looking for someone. Buy me a drink. I'll give you information. Okay, so I just uh, this NPC lets you actually find anyone or where they're located currently in the game. And I just looked up one of the top fishers, like this, eh? and he's actually right it's here nice at the fishing hotspot. So, you can actually track these guys and you know, find out where they're fishing and find the secret spots. That's usually where you'll find them. You've got a pretty good list. I'm ranked 13. I never really active fish as AFK, so... But now that I know about AFK and these fishing hotspots, that should pump up a little. Alright, I'm going to cut this again and switch to Glish for the Imperial Fishing. Okay guys, so I ran down here to Glish just to show a little bit of how, if you're using the hotspots anyway for tons of uh, yellow and blue fish, you can go right up here to the Imperial Fisher. There's actually one of these in Velia too. Distance does not uh, factor into this. You'll see this is the same before. Every three or four hours this will reset, but there's a limit on each type of fish that's shared among all players. So if you have an air issue with this, you can either wait four hours or switch channels. And of course, right next door. Hey, we got the cat dragged in. <laughs> For here, distance does matter and the nerves need to be connected. Actually, I believe the, need, the nodes need to be connected for the Imperial, too. So in this case, you can see I'm connected here and where I got the fish. I also uh, picked up this one up here for the abundant area. So just to review everything, to uh, max out your fishing speed while I have okay. Keep your fishing ability at 5. 
always fish in uh, salt water over fresh water because that makes salt water is always quicker too. And then uh, exhausted versus abundant is abundant and will always be faster. So try to do that. Finding an abundant salt water in a safe zone uh, not going to be easy. And uh, if you go to that one location I showed you with the triangulation, that's a good spot. But of course, you're always going to have to worry about the decay. And I think that just about wraps up everything. And uh, good luck with your fishing, and hopefully, uh, you'll make tons of silver with this. Uh, subscribe if you can, it helps me out with YouTube unlocking some more features. Thanks a lot.